worship beauty in this country. If you don't believe me, check out a British television show. You ever watch the BBC? Your first impression is, where they got all these ugly people? <laughs> these are the people that got the acting jobs? I feel like I'm watching an Orville Ruddenbacher commercial. <laughs> Think about it. You ever watch a music video and the lead singer is not attractive? Aren't you kind of surprised? You're like, wow, they must be talented. <laughs> is there nothing to look at? Salsa is like the Mexican ketchup. Marinara is the Italian ketchup, and British food is terrible. <laughs> Actually, vinegar, vinegar is the British ketchup. How bad is your food when adding vinegar improves it? You know what I use vinegar for? Cleaning windows. <laughs> the British are our only allies. Why would he be so reckless? with his edgy ketchup jokes. <laughs> what if Gordon Brown was sitting in the audience right now? I do enjoy traveling to other countries, seeing how different, but essentially similar we all are. Like, like the UK is not that different from the US. You know, if anything, you go over there and it seems like British people are trying to be different from Americans. They're like, oh, you drive on the right side of the road, then, then we're gonna drive on the left side of the road. <laughs> Oh, you call your mother mom, then we're gonna call ours mum. <laughs> oh, you call that a cookie, then we're not going to the dentist. I know that's cheap. <laughs> I did notice something when I was over there. You know, British people, they don't say the before hospital. You ever notice that? They're like, hospital? I was feeling knackered, so I went to hospital. Whenever they would do that, I'd say, stop that, that's wrong and weird. Are you trying to sound like a polite caveman? And I had a friend from London, he was like, what makes you think you're doing it properly? And I go, because I'm American and we invented the English language. <laughs> it was a pet peeve of mine, so I did some research. You know why British people don't say the before hospital? Because they're dicks. <laughs> Sounds harsh, but admit it, British people always talk to Americans like we just walked into their jewelry store with two full bags of garbage. <laughs> uh, may I help you? <laughs> Are you lost? <sighs> <laughs> Obviously, I love the Brits, and I would never do those jokes there. I've been lucky enough to perform in the UK a couple times, and one time I was walking through Piccadilly Circus, which for the record is a horrible circus. <laughs> There's no animals. And no, I was walking through Piccadilly Circus, and I saw they had an M&M store. And I looked at that M&M store, and it just made me think of all the things the British have given the Americans. Like, our language, Shakespeare, the Magna Carta, and I looked at the M&M store and I thought, now we're even. <laughs> When I looked at the M&M store, I wasn't even embarrassed to be American. I was ashamed to be human. Because <laughs> has anyone at any point in their life thought, when are they gonna open an M&M store? <laughs> sure, I can buy M&Ms absolutely anywhere, but I like to buy in bulk, <laughs> in a pro M&M environment. <laughs> Obviously, we don't need an M&M store. We don't even need different colored M&Ms. They all taste the same. They're just bits of chocolate shaped like Advil. With an M on it. They're not even M&Ms, they're M's. We don't do that with anything else. You want some Raisin and Raisins? Go ahead, grab a handful of Raisin and Raisins. No, I don't even know how many M&Ms or M's they would have to sell in London to justify Piccadilly Circus real estate, but this M&M store is massive in the UK. It is three levels, which I guess makes sense, because the first level, so you can buy M&Ms. The second level, so you can buy more M&Ms. <laughs> and then the third level, so you can jump to your death. Because <laughs> you wasted time in an M&M store! <laughs> By the way, I don't have any judgment. If you personally enjoy going to the M&M store, that's fine, but obviously you shouldn't vote. <laughs>
Jesus. I was with my kids at the time, and they wanted to go to the M&M store because little children only want to do horrible things. <laughs> kids never want to do something fun like sit in a dark bar and drink beer. <laughs> and I remember standing there with my kids, and I was aware that there were other parents with their children in the M&M store because that's what you do as a parent. You do things with your kids because you love them. But I realized in that moment, I don't love my kids that much. <laughs> I love them enough to walk by the M&M store. <laughs> I would do anything for my wife. I, I'm aware of that. But there are people that are more romantic. Prince Edward abdicated his right to the English throne for the woman he loved. Isn't that unbelievable? He was forced to choose between the woman he loved or being king of England. And that idiot <laughs> chose the broad. Now, I'm sure in that moment it was the right decision, and I'm happily married, but even in the best relationship, each person has thoughts where they go, I've made an enormous mistake. <laughs> but we never thought, I could have been king of England. <laughs> Do you think Prince Edward really ever got over that? Every time he had to empty the trash, he's like, the king of England doesn't have to empty trash. <laughs> The King of England can chat with his ex on Facebook. <laughs> can you imagine what kind of news event that abdication was in the UK? There, there must have been, he's gone mad. We should get him to hospital. <laughs> Jim, your British accent is getting worse. <laughs> Why wouldn't you take five minutes and learn a good accent? It's just lazy. It's just lazy. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up. Or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.